Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. It is Monday, October 29th, 2018, and I am celebrating the return of a dear friend. I had an egg on my board when I first showed up, and it heralded the return of Rami. And I can find it again by going to my trophy since I closed it. I'm going to open this. It's my candy pet. It says collect candies to bake treats for Rami. He's got six different missions that I have to complete before this countdown occurs. Before we get down to zero, and I think we started probably with an even 100 hours to get this done. My first mission is very simple. I have to have Rami collect 20 blue candies. Now I believe that I have to actually beat the level in order to collect the blue. And so I want to choose a level that is super easy for me to beat. I'm going to level 606, and it has blue candies. That's the other important thing. If it didn't have blue candies, then I would have to find a different one. So the trick is, all I have to do is in 20 moves, take out these five jelly, and I do that by filling the frog. But while I'm filling the frog, I'm also going to be collecting blue. So now he's filled. I'm just going to not move him until I'm pretty sure that I've collected all the blue I need off this board. And that's easily achieved by just kind of playing through it. I'm not counting them. Uh, the only thing I have to make sure I don't do is take these out by, like, getting a color bomb and matching it with orange. That would be a bad choice to match it with orange. But if I match it with blue, I'm ensuring that I get my reward. And you can fill Rami uh, or um, complete the uh, the mission with any level you want. 606 just happens to be fairly easy and fairly quick. I'm almost certain I've gotten 20 by now. So I'm going to move the frog. That beats the level for me. I get a super sugar crush so I get all of those things that were on the board. This is actually an easy level to beat in three or four moves. So. And now let's see if that helped me to fill my mission here. Look at that. I got all 20 of my blue. So I'm going to bake this. Now here's the tricky part. It takes 15 minutes to bake. So I'm going to pause the recording and meet you back here. And the reason I'm so excited about Rami, although this might be premature excitement, is previously there was a glitch that would allow us to keep getting the final treasure chest of boosters over and over. So we're, I'm going to lead us through this. We'll see everything that we get from this, and then we'll be able to see if the glitch still exists. I'll meet you back here as soon as 15 minutes has expired. Okay, so 15 minutes expired. I fed Rami the treat that was produced, and I get one hour of unlimited color bombs. My next mission is to collect 60 purple. I'll meet you back here when I've collected those. All right, so I played 606 again. That was enough because I played it well to get me actually 61 of these purple. And so here is the little treat, and I need to bake it. Here's the one he's thinking of. I'll meet you back here now in an hour to see what our prize is. Okay, so we produced the treat. We're going to feed him, and let's see what happens this time. He does what? He gives us another one hour of unlimited color bomb. And now we have to collect 80 of these butterscotch. And I have the feeling that 80 is just too much to ask for uh, from level 606, but I'm going to try it anyway. I don't mind playing that level twice instead of going to a harder level. Uh, so I'll meet you back here when I've collected those. Okay, I was able to collect exactly 80 in one try on that level. So now I've got to wait one and a half hours before I can uh, collect my next treat, before I can make this butterscotch pie and collect my next treat. I'll be right back. Okay, and here we're ready to feed. Rami's so excited. And let's see, another one hour of the color bomb. It looks like that's all we're going to be getting is that one hour of color bomb. We're halfway there. I'm going to go collect 100 blue and I'll meet you back here again. 
Okay, so normally I go to 606, but I wanted to show you something interesting. Uh, the board bumped me back up to the top into the thousands, which it often does. And so I decided to choose a different level since I didn't think I could complete all of the order with 1606. And I like the level 2000. It's a fun level, and I've got to collect, I think, a total of 200 purple on the board anyway, only 20 blue. But I figure if I'm collecting 200 purple, I'm probably in the process also collecting 200 of every other color here. And I wanted to show you if you ever wonder, hmm, how close am I getting? How much do I need to collect? concentrate on my reward what do I have to do on this board you can always go to quit this works for me anyway I say always but then of course things bad things can happen different things happen for different people sometimes it says you pressed quit are you sure you want to end the level if I say end game for me it stops me and says don't give up now you'll lose all the candy we collected for my treat 100 blue so you do have to beat the level so I'm going to say play on. Now because I still have moves left, I'm not it's not costing any gold bars or anything to play on. And I can continue to try to beat this level with some fun, exciting things that collect as much blue as they do purple. I'll meet you back here when I'm done. Okay, so here we are at level 2000 and we got all 100 and I knew I would because remember when I hit quit, uh, it showed me how many I had collected already. So now we're going to bake. And it's going to take us an hour and a half. I'll meet you back here in an hour and a half. And here we go, an hour and a half later. And we're going to feed Rami. He's so excited. What is he going to give us? I wonder. Oh my goodness. One hour of unlimited color bomb, which is really a good thing to have. So, And now I need 120 of those purple. Well, I know that on level 2000, if you're up that high, then you're going to have to collect 200 to beat the level anyway. So that's a good place for me to go for that. I'll meet you back here when it's done. Okay, so that's level 2000, and here we go. We needed 120. We got the 120. Oh, and I get some Halloween doors. Now it's time to bake. Hmm, I wonder what's going to happen after I bake. Another hour and a half. I'll meet you back here. Okay, so here we feed the treat that we just created. I wonder what we're going to get. It's so exciting. I can't even imagine what it... One hour of unlimited color bomb. 150 butterscotch. I'll meet you back here when it's done. Okay, so let's see what we got from that. Yep, we got our 150, so now we get to bake. It's going to take an hour and a half, and I'll meet you back here, and then we should get to our final prize. So here we are. We get to feed Rami the final piece of pie. That's six out of six, so we should get the treasure chest, and this should give us a bit more. Rami's all grown up now. Thank you. I hope we'll meet again soon, I think he said. Wow, my nephew is growing up so fast. Now, sometimes it looks empty, but if you click this, you'll find that you get a switch hand, coconut wheel, lucky candy, color bomb, and lollipop, a lolly hammer. And unlike the color bombs that we were getting before, this one goes into our storehouse, so we get to claim it. Now here's the tricky thing. It used to be that when we would reload the board, we would get that same reward over and over. So I'm going to check to see if that works currently. That's what my hope is. Because if so, then once you feed Rami, it's not the processes of getting the one hour free color bomb that can be the most effective. It's collecting that jackpot over and over. However, they've had Rami down for a while, so I'm not extremely hopeful that it's going to result for me in being able to get the reward again and again. I think they probably fixed the glitch, but I'm still a little hopeful, and we each get a different experience. So even if my experience shows that I'm not going to get the... Um, the treasure chest over and over that doesn't mean that you guys shouldn't experiment but let's see what happens with me I'm on a private browser right now I'm on Firefox and um, previously it didn't matter whether we were on a regular or a private browser so if it doesn't work this way I will check all of the different opportunities that I have available to me and see if I can get it to happen on any of them but probably if I get it here or don't get it here, that's going to be the end of the video because um, that'll be an indication that that's how it's going to work for me with everything else. Although 
experimenting is the way we find these different things, these uh, good glitches that we can exploit. Sorry it's taking so long. Here we go. One of the nice things about being on the um, the private browser is that I always get my unlimited striped wrapped combos. It's going to tell me about Denise. And it did not give me my um, Rami again. And I can't even open it again. So it looks like I just get that one reward. But still, one reward is better than none. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this at all helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. That in turn would help me out. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below and I'll try to respond as quickly as possible. If you're wondering how I got through all of this and it's still just Monday morning, it's because I used a trick of the computer. I just changed my date and time clock and every time it said that I had to wait for an hour and a half, I just advanced my clock an hour and a half ahead. However, I don't recommend that if you've got anything tied to the time on your computer like automatic payments or a meeting with your boss you could mess things up if you wait and get extra lives I've seen some people who uh, they'll change their time setting and then it'll tell them that they have to wait a hundred hours for their next life and they can never set the time to make it change so just be really careful if you choose to do that as well as always thanks so much for watching